Attack with Tab. My name is Lord Yukini Osai. I'm broadcasting to you on behalf of 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and also on behalf of the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light. And um, basically, what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be sharing with you um, the power of prayer. All right. Because basically, what you're doing when you're praying is you're actually waging a form of warfare and you're also acrylining that food or that water with your thoughts you know what i'm saying or you're 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 stating something you're declaring something your words are creating you know what i'm saying so prayer is very important like um say for instance you see somebody who's on the streets and and you could tell that they're they're in need of like healing you don't physically have to touch them you can just think healing for them you know what I'm saying? You can send a lot of healing energy to them by just thinking it because energy and intentions give you the power of God. Your intent behind the energy gives you the power of God. You see what I'm saying? Therefore, you can just put your hand for it, right? Whichever dominant hand that you use the most, like if you're right handed, then you will use your right hand to send love or send healing or to send prosperity or to send courage to somebody. And this is the hand that you re receive with or you take the negative energy out with you know what i'm saying so like you might give it like this and then receive the negative energy like this so like you might go like this and say i i give you healing and, and i take all of the evil you know energies away from you or whatever so like um basically when you're praying you're declaring those are declarations. Those are proclamations. Those are decrees. Your words are creating. So it's like if you see somebody wounded or in need, you know, you can say a prayer. That's like Peter and John when they was coming into the, the, the temple called Beautiful. Outside the temple gates, it was a beggar who was begging for, for money. And Peter said, silver and gold I have not, but surely as I have unto you, I give unto you. Pick up your mat and walk. And the man who was lame got up and dropped his candle and ran away. You know what I'm saying? Because he received strength in his legs. So it's like you can give somebody some money and you're temporarily like doing them a justice. You know what I'm saying? But it's like putting a band-aid on a, on a war wound. You know what I'm saying? Like why not just give them healing as opposed to giving them some money to put another bandage on? Why not just heal their war wound? You know what I'm saying? And so that's what prayer does. Prayer actually heals the wounds, you know what I'm saying? And it helps somebody. So it's like, let me give you an example. I seen somebody the other day who, uh, my woman, she was like, yeah, that person has cancer in their body. And I said, really? So then I said a quick little prayer, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not afraid to like pray a Christian prayer because, um, that's my background. That's where I originally came from. Even though, you know, I'm a sorcerer and a um a witch now. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 a so called witch or a so called sorcerer now, you know what I'm saying? And um a so called shaman now. I'm into like different religious systems or whatever. But Christianity is my background. And I knew that that would help him the most because he was Christian. So I said a quick little prayer, you know, and I just I said, Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you will release your healing power to come down and bestow that person. I pray that you will free them from every sickness in their bodies. I pray that you will command. You know what I'm saying? I, I said, um, I pray that you will send your healing power to come down and fill them right now. I command every cell in their in their bodies to be rejuvenated and restored. I command every red blood cell, every white blood cell to take charge and fight against all sickness and all cancers in his body. You said in your word that you were wounded for our iniquities. You were bruised for our transgressions. The chastisement of our faith was upon you. And by the Lord's stripes, we are healed. I pray, Father, releasing healing power and virtue into this person's body. You know what I'm saying? And then after I prayed that prayer, you know what I'm saying? I ended it. You know, I still, I proclaim this, this, I declare this and I decree this in the power of love. It is done. You know what I'm saying? And my prayer was done. Like, you know, you could be, you don't have to pray in Jesus Christ's name. You know what I'm saying? To say a prayer. And every time I eat, I pray. Like, you know, I might say a quick little prayer. Like, Heavenly Father, I just ask that you would just acrylyne this food and acrylyne this water. I pray that you would uh, purify it from, from all intoxicants and all um, poisons and all things that will harm me. I pray that this food and that this beverage will... Um, 
uh, nourish my mind, body, and soul. I pray that you will um, uh, fulfill the needs of the less fortunate ones, supply their every needs, and feed them and, and give them something to drink as well. And I pray that the, that the food and the, the beverage will nourish their minds, bodies, and souls. And um, I proclaim this, declare it, and decree it. And I seal it in the power of love. It's done. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do a lot of my prayers because... I, but that's a declaration. I'm declaring that my food is to nourish my mind, body, heart, and soul. I'm declaring that every poison inside of that and in, in that food would, would not do me no harm. I declare that. And it's words that create. You know what I'm saying? Words create. So, so um, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Your word is God. And everything that was created was created with the word, and nothing was created in, unless it was created with the word. Words create. Your words create. So the power of prayer is important. You you wonder why, like, you know, people who are spiritual, not necessarily Christian, but just spiritual, all the way around the board. You know what I'm saying? Whatever religious background you come from, people who are spiritual, they're not affected with poisons. They're not affected with, you know what I'm saying, uh, lead and fluoride in the water and shit. They drink tap water and it doesn't affect them. They can eat whatever and it doesn't affect them. And that's because, you know what I'm saying, their they, their prayer life is strong. They have a prayer. If they don't pray verbally, they have a prayer locked in their heart. And and their thoughts are acrylining their food. Their thoughts are acrylining their water. You know what I'm saying? Now, with all things, you have to do it in moderation. And with all things, you have to be considerate. I mean, you, you want to take care of your body, so you don't want to eat low vibrational foods. But if you eat them, it's not going to harm you. You know what I'm saying? You just you just have to pray. You have to remember to pray. You know what I'm saying? Because our, our the weapons of our warfare aren't carnal. They're not physical, but they're very mighty. They're very mighty and spiritual and pulling down principalities, strongholds, and wickedness that sits in high places. So, you know what I'm saying? When you pray, you're waging war. You're waging war. And it's important for you, you know what I'm saying, to open up your mouth and out of your mouth speak. You know what I'm saying? That prayer. Because that prayer is a weapon. You know what I'm saying? And so I wanted to give you that quick little thing because I did a video. I did a few videos and I was talking about how meat is wrong, how it causes genetic modification, how it causes a mutation or whatever. However, you might be in a situation where you believe right now, wherever space you are in your life or wherever you are in your journey, that you need to eat meat. So if that's okay, then that's okay for you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just one reality and the big actual reality. That's just one reality. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, um, just make sure that you pray over your food. Just make sure that you acrylying your food with, with, with your thoughts, with acrylying thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Because whatever you think, therefore you are. You know what I'm saying? Your thoughts are dictating your experience. So, you know, um, create a pure experience by creating pure thoughts. You know what I'm saying? And purifying those everything around you with your thoughts. So, you know, that's Alchemy 101 and the power of prayer right there. My name is Lord Yukili Osai, and I'm broadcasting to you on behalf of 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and also on behalf of the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light. Hotep and Tech Matu.